got the Camaro idling. It's still missing on several cylinders. Um, I'm not sure, but it's starting up better and it's running a little bit better. So. my channel in today's video we're gonna be troubleshooting the Camaro um, try to figure out the misfires why it's misfiring and I'm just gonna go through a couple of steps and try to figure out if I can um, get this problem figured out um, I gotta get this Camaro up and going because we got to get the front end put on it and, and get it ready for paint and stuff so I can actually get it sold so that's that's my goal and you know I still got the El Camino project going on so that's why I'm really trying to get this Camaro at least push to the next level so that I can go back and concentrate on the El Camino because I have all the parts for the El Camino minus the carpet that hasn't come in yet but everything else is there so I'm ready to get the um, El Camino wrapped up but I, I want to get the Camaro in its next phase before I go back to working on the El Camino so alright I'll start back recording once I get up to the shop with the car Got to the shop. Let me turn some lights on in here. Okay, back to the Camaro. Um, what I'm gonna do today is try to figure out why it's down on a couple of cylinders. I'm just going to check to see if it got power going to the coil and see if it got power going to the injector. Let me make sure I still got a battery in the trunk. Nope, no battery in the trunk. So. Okay, I got a jump box connected and I'm gonna... I don't know if the jump box would start the car or not, but it should be good enough for me to get power to the fuel injectors. Um, my brother has already tested the coils and he said all coils have 12 volts going to them so only thing I need to check is the actual fuel injector so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Alright, I used this little thing here to test the coils to make sure the coils was firing. I didn't get it on video because I'm um, obviously working by myself and I had to start the car up and look at it through the windshield. But the coils are firing. Um, they have power to them and they're firing and I use the test light um, just to make sure the injectors still have power to them the whole time while I was running so the injectors have power to them the coils are firing the next logical thing um, I'm getting ready to pull the spark plug out on the dead cylinders and see if the spark plugs are bad um, that that to me would be the next thing to check other than I mean if it's if the spark plug is good if the spark plug is firing and it's still not firing on those cylinders then you might have to do a compression check on the dead cylinders so but other than that so far we got power to the injectors got power to the coil coil is firing and about to pull the spark plug out and check the spark plug pull out a few of these injectors and try to see I can switch them around to a different cylinder and see if the, the problem will follow the, the actual injector.
Okay, I got the injectors popped out on this side. You can see I just got it propped up. And what I'm going to do is try to start it up and see if it squirts gas out of it. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. I know it's not going to start up, so hopefully it can start squirting. Or I can see if it squirts um, while it's trying to start. All right. Yeah. All right, try it one more time. Okay, the first time when we tried it, I didn't expect the car to fire up because we took the spark plug out of it and I had all these injectors pretty much lifted up and it fired up, so. Um, when it shut off, I just went back in and um, put this plug back in, and I had the injectors propped up, and you saw how they were squirting. So the injectors is actually squirting in the cylinders. So the next thing I have to do is a compression test, and I don't have my tester with me today, so that's going to have to be in another video. So I just have to do a compression test on it and just make sure all the, the cylinders um have compression on them especially the dead ones so all right the Camaro is actually taking longer than I thought so um but we got to get it fixed so we can get it out of here just taking up room in the shop right now okay I'm back from working on the Camaro and as you saw in the video my injectors are squirting like they're supposed to I got power to the coil the coil is firing so the only thing left is a compression test. Um, I left my compression tester here. So I have to do that in the next video. So I really got to get this Camaro up and going. Like I said before, I got to get it moved to the next phase so I can start concentrating back on the El Camino. So in the next video, hopefully, it's probably going to be El Camino content in the next video. So I doubt I'm going to be able to get back up there and get the compression test test on and stuff like that and I don't want to rush it so I'll probably be doing some stuff to the El Camino in the next video and also in a future video I bought the headliner for the GTO so I'm going to be ripping the headliner out and redoing that and then putting it back in so that's also going to be a video that's coming so thanks for subscribing if you haven't click that subscribe button click on the share button and I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.